Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we are in Los Angeles, California at the Society of Thoracic Surgeons Conference. I'm thrilled to be joined by Dr. Eric Roselli, who is the Chief of Adult Cardiac Surgery at the Cleveland Clinic in Cleveland, Ohio. Eric, hey, Dr. Adam. Roselli, it is great to see you again. As always. I'll flip back to Eric. Yeah, please. If that's okay, because I've known Eric for 30 years now. Like we that. went to college at the University of Michigan. Go Blue way before he was a doctor. So Eric, got a question for you. Yeah. In our community, we are getting lots of questions about patient prosthesis mismatch. Yeah. And I am curious, I've heard you've been published, you recently published a paper about this. Can you share with our community what it is you're finding? Because a lot of folks here are gonna need a second operation. Yeah, so um, I guess the, the idea is that space between your ventricle in your aorta, where the aortic valve lives, it's gotta be sized right, so blood can flow through there easily, right? And I think people get it, yeah, the stenotic valve, they give you a new one that opens it up. But when we put a valve in somebody, there's a little bit of hardware in there, and it takes up space, and some people, that space is already small to begin with. And so there has to be a good match, and that's where this whole mismatch thing comes in. So sometimes the valve is kinda, of, the valve that sort of fits the opening may work for a little while, but if it's us on the smaller side, um, that valve will take a beating. It might not be big, it might take up just enough space that the heart still struggles. And that can become a serious problem for someone. So, you know, you, you go in with aortic stenosis, you get your valve replaced, you're feeling pretty good for a while, and then the valve can wear out fast, or, or it just never was big enough. And so, um, fortunately now, there's a much greater appreciation for this, especially in young patients who are active, it's important, um, to get a bigger valve. And I think surgeons are doing this. Surgeons are doing things like annular enlargements. So we do that. The space is small, and we don't want to put a small valve in a, in a person that's avoiding this mismatch. We'll make that space bigger. And there's a lot of techniques to do that. Um, and I think surgeons are getting better and better. There's a big course at the STS here, a hands-on thing for surgeons who you know, can share their techniques. And so I think surgeons are getting better about that. Um, we just published a novel technique for the most severe of those situations. Something we call a bespoke procedure. It's a, it's a combination of a root replacement, something called a conal procedure, where not only do we split that opening in the back, which is kind of a nice way to make a little more room, but we just kind of blow the whole space open. We cut into the muscle or into the right and left ventricle. We reconstruct that area. It's a technique that has been sort of modified from some techniques that we're using kids with congenital heart disease that we now apply in adults and we've had really great results in those patients. Fantastic, well Eric, on behalf of all the patients out there who may need a bespoke procedure in the future, can't thank you enough for everything you and your team are doing at Cleveland Clinic. Thanks so much. Thanks, Adam. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel, watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen, or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.